This is a live look at I-40 near Highway 54. Slow going again, as it usually is this time of day, but this area is part of a larger stretch of I-40 that crews have been working on for years. The $15 million project stretches from Wade Avenue to the I-440 interchange. WRO's Brett Neese joins us live with why this project is behind schedule. Brett? Yeah, Gerald, it's rare that any road project really gets done ahead of schedule. At least it feels that way. Many days like today, though, make it even harder to get the job done. Rough, bumpy, uneven. It doesn't matter what adjective you give this stretch of I-40, it's simply not a smooth ride. It makes my van so noisy, uh, you know, I'm bouncing around in there just trying to hold it between the lanes sometimes. Stuart Adcock just gassed up his work van and is headed back out onto that part of the highway. He drives it almost every day. 40, man, is a nightmare uh, with the construction going on and the people that drive it, uh, they're crazy. The construction he's talking about has been going on since 2022. That's when NCDOT contractors started to fix different parts of the interstate from Wade Avenue all the way to the 440 interchange. Crews are in the final phases of this project that was supposed to be done last year. The biggest hurdle they face now is the weather. Today, equipment sits idly by in the rain but over the past several months, they couldn't even work when it wasn't raining. And that's because temperatures have to stay above 60 degrees for the type of asphalt they're using. It's a special like type of asphalt that we use when we're putting it on top of concrete like to rehab the road. Natalia Arbelez is an engineer on the project. She says the work to rehab the road can be more cost effective, especially when the existing infrastructure is still usable. Everyone wants everything new. If there's already stuff there existing, why not try to make it last longer? Meanwhile, drivers are just hoping that rough ride through here will be over soon. So back out here live, it's the eastbound stretch that's already done. The westbound stretch going away from me is what they still have to complete. They're hoping to have that part of the project done by July. Gerald. Red Neese reporting live. Thank you, Brett.